This video tutorial will teach you how to use the pickup tool. You will be able to determine the pickup values of protection functions by ramping current, voltage, or frequency values. In this example, we are going to test the pickup value of our controller's phase over current elements. The procedure is similar if you are ramping voltages or frequency. First, select the phase which should be tested. Depending on the fault type, either one, two, or all three current output values will be ramped. In this example, choose the three phase fault to test the pickup value of the phase elements. If you are using voltages for your test, you can also specify a fault voltage as a percentage of the nominal voltage and a phase angle. Continue to the next screen. Here, the test current will need to be manually ramped in order to determine the pickup value. If the automatic ramp option is enabled, the ramp configuration section will be added to the test. This will enable you to automatically ramp the test values and assess the test results. You can proceed to configure the ramp. Enter the starting and end point, step size, duration, the pickup value set in the controller, and tolerances. To make the procedure easy to understand, we will support our explanation with the diagrams which include all the parameters required to perform the test. The controller's pickup value has been set to 400 amps, indicated by the blue line. According to the controller's manual, the pickup value has a tolerance of 5%. The upper and lower limits of this value are represented by green lines in the diagram. The aim of this test is to check that the pickup value is contained within the tolerance band. Now you should define the starting and end values of the ramp. You are free to choose any value as long as you ensure that the ramp will cross the entire tolerance band. However, our advice is to start at 0.8 times and end at 1.2 times the nominal value. This means the calculated values are 320 amps and 480 amps. You can now complete the fields with these values. The amplitude of the step size is a compromise between accuracy and test time. The bigger it is, the less accurate and the shorter test time. If you choose a value larger than the tolerance band, the resulting measurement will be of no use. As a reference, we recommend that you divide the tolerance by 4 as the step size magnitude. So 5% of 400 amps divided by 4 makes 5 amps. The step duration is the period between two ramp steps. This duration must be set longer than the operating time of the controller. It should also be long enough for you to click the manual pickup button as soon as the controller picks up. We have set this time to 5 seconds. If you want to assess the time that it takes the controller to pick up or trip, you can activate the checkbox and enter the expected value and the tolerances in the time screen. Now you can proceed directly to the test screen. On the left, you can see the output values. On the right, the events and results will be displayed. Start the test. As you can see here, the test current is increased at the defined amplitude and time steps. As soon as the controller indicates the pickup, click the manual pickup signal button to stop the test. If you don't click this button, the outputs will automatically be deactivated when a trip signal occurs. You can then add the results to your report. If the automatic ramping function is not required, you can also ramp the signals manually. To do this, deactivate the automatic ramp option on the fault screen, then proceed again to the test screen.
Enter the starting value for your ramp. Make sure that this value is below the minimum pickup value of the overcurrent elements you are testing. Then activate the outputs and click the up arrow to increase the output values. The rate of increase is automatically calculated by the Arco Control software. As soon as the controller picks up, stop the test by clicking the Manual Pickup Signal button. You can then analyze your results and add them to your report.